welcome back to Empress Radio, where we do trending topics and reality TV and live streams. So join us now. Do you need to build your YouTube channel or do you have a business or a website that you need to rebrand? Well, join us now at Empress Consults at www.empressconsults.com or hit us up on Instagram at Empress Radio. Okay, so enjoy the video now. Hey you guys, we're live, so giving you a few seconds to come in. All right, we're live. Hey, everyone. Um, before I get into this, shout out to Anonymous T because she really has been putting out a lot of content lately. And, you know, her videos have been doing great and, you know, she's doing great things. I always love seeing her videos. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. So um, let me see. Shout out to Anonymous T again. So she revealed that Melody and Martel will be in court today, April 4th at 1.30 p.m. So, yeah, shout out to Anonymous T for that. You guys stay on it. <laughs> I'm like, how do you guys know this? Do you guys get, like, updates um, when the court <laughs> has updates or something? I don't know. Let me see. So let me share my screen to show what Melody had to say here. Okay, let me share my screen with you guys. So Melody says, uh, 4.4, which is April 4th, a day I'll remember forever. Uh, the day I'll forever remember. The day hashtag everything changed. So if from my recollection, is this the day that she left Martel, April 4th? Because I think I remember her saying like she left him in April and then in May on Mother's Day. That's the day when when he told her that um, Ariane Curry was pregnant on Mother's Day. So but she had already left him. That's why she said she left him. So it wasn't like she left him because he got another woman pregnant. But it was like com confirmation. Like, yeah, I'm glad that I left you. You know, so I believe that April 4th is the day that she left Martel. Right. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? <laughs> but yeah, so um, it's just crazy, you know, all these lawsuits and court cases and arrests like this show is something else, you know, um, I just felt so bad for them having to go back and forth to custody and to court and stuff because I know that's so stressful. So, yeah, definitely praying for her today, praying for the kids, not praying for Martel. You know, I wish him nothing but the worst. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Like, I just I hope he gets whatever is coming to him, you know, so I hope he loses custody. You know, um, I hope he goes to jail. <laughs> To be honest, I just cannot stand Martel. You know, he's a terrible person, terrible man, terrible husband, and a terrible father from what we're seeing. Because I'm going to show you guys um, the court, not the court um, orders, but remember when the court ordered to Martel to get a psych evaluation? I'm going to show you guys what they had to say here again, like with some of the allegations that they'll probably be talking about in court. So give me a second here. Yes, you baby. I'm gonna let you guys uh, see the article. It's um, by U.S. Sun, like I said. So this is some serious stuff, you guys. I want to say that this is all alleged, and in my opinion, you know, everything is in my opinion, and this is just the article that we're reading right now. Um, but okay, so nasty divorce. Love and marriage. Huntsville's Martel Holt ordered to undergo a psych evaluation after ex accuses him of a being his kids. Melody Holt has dragged her ex back to court with shocking new allegations. As you guys can see, this article came out February 5th, 2024. So yeah, like I said, um, this is uh, exclusively by U.S. Sun um, that Martel had to get a psych evaluation after he is abused, uh, accused of a being his kids. 
Um, Martel 42 and Melody divorce battle has gotten even more nasty as Melody 38 has grown more concerned about her uh, his alleged erratic behavior and inappropriate treatment of their children. So now Martel had said that on the show that this was going on, but now we're seeing it on a big scale. Like these are big news article news stories that are coming out about him. Now we're going to get into it, but I don't want to show too much of the article because it keeps saying that word. And like I said, we're trying to get this video monetized as best as we can, you guys. So as of December 14, 2023, the court has ordered Martel to undergo a psychological evaluation after the mom of four filed a motion demanding, demanding he submit to a psychiatric examination and evaluation ahead of their trial in April. So in April is the trial. According to Alabama court documents exclusively obtained by the U.S. Sun, Melody informed the court that the mental, psychological, and emotional stability of the father is at issue. So, yeah, we, we've been saying that. Hold on one second. Yeah, we've been saying that he's been being erratic. And, you know, Melody is aware because she's saying even in the court, you know, that he's been, um, you know, mental, mental, psychological and emotional stability of the father is at issue. The filing states based on the father's recent erratic behavior at the minor's children's school practice in other public places, as well as inappropriate, unhinged and erratic behavior towards the mother and minor children. A thorough and complete mental examination and evaluation of the father is essential to the court's decision regarding important issues in this case regarding child custody and visitation. So they're saying that Martel has been erratic at minor school, at the kids' school, at practice, and other public places, and as um, we as we all know with the mother as well. She argued that his actions are detrimental to the physical, emotional, and mental well-being of the children and fears that the children have already suffered emotional damage as a result of Martel's irate and erratic behavior. So, yeah, Melody is not playing, you know, she's like, yeah, he's causing my kids to have emotional problems because he's tripping, you know. In the same filing, she claims Sheree Whitfield's ex, I know Sheree hates to be uh, involved in this, um, claims Sheree Whitfield's ex continued to use corporal punishment against their minor children. She gave an example that on December 11, 2023, which was recent, you guys, he allegedly threatened to tear them up, quote unquote, once their divorce case is over. Wow referring to their minor kids and said in a separate following from December 14 that he even offered to allow the children to be on TV show if he could use corporal punishment in the future. So he's saying, oh my gosh, Martel, I'm, I'm hormonal. So this is like going to make me cry already. Like I'm already getting teared up because I don't play about the kids, you know, but he said that he would uh, have them on the show if he could use corporal punishment in the future. That's crazy, Martel. You're crazy. The former couple have four kids together, daughters Malia, Mariah, Milani, and son Martel. The TV personality is also the father to another child, son Knox, with a woman who has been identified as his mistress, Arion Curry. Third time's a charm. Even though the ex's divorce was initially finalized in March 2021, they went back to court the following year to modify the custody arrangement. Although everything was thought to be resolved, Melody filed a new petition in July 2023 to modify legal custody and visitation schedule, mainly due to Martel's alleged mental and emotional abuse of uh, the minor children. This is sad, you guys. So let me come back to you guys. <laughs> We're going to take a break and read some comments so that I don't be embarrassing myself up here crying um, online. Okay, so Martel, just walk away, dude. Leave Mel alone. Build your life. I wish these dogs would stop. <laughs> Build your life with your woman. Get yourself a regular job. Your woman needs to get one too. Then the three of you need to leave, live in peace. So he's acting a fool at the kids' school. So other people and children are witnessing this behavior. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm glad that you guys are here. Um, who is he saying all of this to? This is an article that the U.S. Sun published um, about Martel's erratic behavior. I knew Hotel was unraveling. He knows that these kids prefer to be with their mother. He is jealous of Mel and his own children. He needs help. And if he refuses, take the kids until he does. Yes, he does need help. All right. So let's get back to the article. I'm going to show you guys where we're at here. So this is U.S. Sun, and like I said, this is about Martel Hope being ordered to uh, undergo a psych evaluation, and this article just came out, you guys. So um, where were we? 
In the filing obtained by the U.S. Sun, the behind every man host claimed her ex continues to use corporal punishment that is excessive and abuse AB towards the minor children, including but not limited to, and I'm not even going to say it, it's terrible, you guys. We're talking about putting hands on, on allegedly on their necks, if you guys know what I mean, grabbing, uh, pal not, you know, pun putting paws on his minor son. Um, yeah, it's terrible, you guys. Twisting and pulling and hitting. Oh, it's terrible. I don't even want to repeat it, you guys. Go ahead and read the article. The father has refused to follow the court order and um, has stopped therapy between him and his minor son. So he was ordered to go to therapy and he just refused to go now at this point. Um, so sad. Uh, okay. The filing continues. The father continues to incorporate corporal punishment on the minor that they only want to see their father if he will stop putting his hands on them. That's so sad. They don't even want to see him at this point. She also said he exhibited behavior that has been negligent and unstable and has shown a lack of proper parenting when it comes to the care for his children during his custodial times. In addition, she gave examples of some of his threats, including reportedly saying he will knock them out. So sad. Apart from being concerned about the children's mental well-being, she said that she's concerned about Martel's mental stability since he continues to relocate, has violated previous court orders, and has even threatened to distribute a revenge tape that the parties created during their marriage. So this is definitely in the court, they're saying. Given all this, she requested the court only allow him daytime visits with the kids until he enrolls in therapy and anger management. Wow. So she's talking about um, like being seen. What is it called? Um, what is it called where you, you have to be like supervised visitation? Yeah. Wow. Martel fires back. Martel responded to Melody's filing four months later in November and also filed a counterclaim against her. Instead of addressing the motivational speaker's specific corporal punishment claims, he instead claims she is the one who willfully uh, violated the order about spanking the minor children, including um, MH age three. He did that on purpose. He just wanted to like, put that out there. He also said that she filed the modification in bad faith and with unclean hands um, and has continuously uh, frivolous, untruthful motions so that she may be in control of all decisions regarding the minor. The own star goes on to accuse Melanie of violating their agreement of not filming their children and posting them on social media. He claims her bringing them into the spotlight has financial gain since she believes it to be in the best interest of the children to be filmed as uh, it would provide them economic opportunities, he says, quote unquote. That was the exact quote that they said. In her December response, Melanie, and uh, it's, it's annoying because they keep calling her Melanie and it's Melody. But in her December response, Melody denied his frivolous accusations in references to the spanking and of um, for the economic opportunities, she says that she believes in affording the children with every opportunity that is beneficial and desirous of the children and aiding their success in life. Until the April trial, the court has ordered the former couple to attempt to resolve their issues through mediation. The USN has uh, reached out to Melody and Martel's attorney for comment, but it, it doesn't say if they responded. <clears throat> So after all this went down to court, news broke that Martel was locked up for third degree DV and harassment on January 9, 2024. According to TMZ, he had a warrant um, after allegedly sending harassing communications to the accuser who had not been identified at that time back in August 2022. He was booked into Madison County Sheriff's Office and was released about three hours later after posting bond. His publicist told the media outlet at that time Martel Holt adamantly denies any intentional harm or harassment towards the accuser. We believe that these allegations are the result of a misunderstanding, and we are confident that the legal process will ultimately vindicate Mr. Holt. Martel remains committed to being a devoted father and maintaining a positive and healthy co-parenting relationship with Ms. Rogers and Ms. Curry for the well-being of the children. The statement continued, despite the challenges pre present presented, Martel will continue to focus on his role as a responsible parent and contribute positively to his community. Martel is due in court next month to address this matter, it says. So that's pretty much what they had to say in this article here. Um, it's just, it has some pictures of Sheree, it has some pictures of the kids that are blurred out. But yeah, this is uh, some serious stuff, you guys. It's really... All right, we're back. So you guys heard that. That was uh, the article in the U.S. Sun. And there were a few articles, you know, that had came out against Martel around that time. I don't know if I could find them. Let me see. 
I should have already had this open. Hold on. So that was U.S. Sun. That was the first article against Martel. I post a lot now. <laughs> now that I've mentioned it, now uh, I see why when Tay Talk said that I post 18 times a day. <laughs> uh, you guys are so funny. Okay, Yahoo News. Found it, you guys. Hold on one second. Have you guys noticed that YouTube does like chapters now? Chapter seven. It's kind of helpful, actually. All right, I'm going to share my screen. everyone to know what was going on with this abusive person. Mainstream public publication, apparently. Social media, uh, before Emma fan, so if you see, so if you think she's not, a, so if you see here, Melody, it shows Melody crying, and, you know, the, the lady in charge of the publication, uh, what's her name? Brenda Alexander, she's saying she's not a fan, she just wants everyone to know what was going on with this abusive person, you know, so. Um, Goes on to say, not only does Martel want Melody, it's crazy that they're actually kind of confirming what we've been saying this whole time that Martel indeed is the villain. It doesn't matter what Martel what Martel says about Melody, he is the villain. So let me just say hey to everyone. Hey, you guys. Um, oh my God, I caught a live. I'm just happy to be here and happy to see you still keeping us updated. Yeah, I'm trying. What happened was my phone. I had did the first phone on my computer. It's been of 2024. So what? day or two ago um barely right um okay so let me see is it sharing can you guys see the article like i said uh brenda alexander here so um i'm not going to share the screen the whole time because it's really small anyway so um now that season six of love and marriage huntsville is finally over it's time to address the revolving storyline of marta holt and his resoluteness to vilify his ex-wife, Melody Rogers. His recent sit-down with Tasha Kay was a fumble at trying to do just that by praising his long-term side chick and downplaying his obsession with Melody and his desire for her attention. The receipts he produced of Melody in a justifiable rage, putting gasoline on his furniture while he admitted what he did to drive her to set her off is textbook manipulation. So if you guys are just coming, we are reading this article by Yahoo News and they are exposing Martel Holt. Um, and it's crazy because this is, like I said, uh, public, you know, um, mainstream public publication, you know. Um, hold on one second, you guys. My baby is my, with my parents. Anyway, so I left the baby with my parents, but he's in there crying. I was like, yeah. I'm recording. You're making a lot of noise. About how I must be a fan of Melody because it's uh, it published. Um, but let me clarify, I am no personal fan of anyone. What I am a fan of is any uh, woman who walks away from an abusive marriage, relationship, friendship, or workplace, and doesn't allow said abuser to play in her face by um, trying to rewrite history, especially one long documented on a reality series. So if you see here, Melody, it shows Melody crying, and you know the, the lady in charge of the publication, uh, what's her name? Brenda Alexander, she's saying she's not a fan. She just wants everyone to know what was going on with this abusive person, you know, so. Um, goes on to say, not only does Martel want Melody back, something stated in interviews throughout the years and admitted on the show, but he's pissed that she left him for good. During the season three reunion, Martel said what everyone already knew, despite sharing his pain with another woman for seven years of his 14 year marriage, he never thought he and Melody would end. Day one fans watched Melody go back and forth for three seasons before breaking free. And yeah, we did. We later learned that before the cameras began rolling uh, for season one, she left and went back once or twice, even going as far as moving out of their marital home with their three young children and into her place. Um, because Martel no longer holds Melody's mind, body, or spirit, he's hell-bent on making her life uh, hell and gaslighting anyone crazy enough to fall into his baby gap-suited antics. I'm going to let you guys see, I did not make this up. She literally said, baby gap suited antics. <laughs> She's shady and I love it. Um, Martel cannot live with the fact that Melody is thriving and most people with sense can see that she was the engine that kept their family, former businesses and his public image intact. So yeah, um, that's pretty much what the article goes on to say. Um, Martel has insisted that he tries to co-parent with Melody in peace. Footage from Love and Mary Tunsville proves otherwise. 
He admitted to popping up on her dates because he didn't feel she deserved to dine with another man at a restaurant they frequented in their 14-year marriage. He's shown up without an invitation to her home. He gets into screaming matches with anyone who remains her friend and defends her against his smear campaign on the show. He's shown up at birthday parties she planned for their daughters uninvited and acted a fool amid mixed company, knowing there's nothing in their custody arrangement that states either have to throw joint parties. Um, so yeah, she's on it. She has her history she knows what she's talking about you know um so yeah if you guys are just in like i said we are talking about this yahoo news article that what's your credit card debt balance if it's ten thousand dollars or more here are three easy solutions you can start implementing today just dropped and they're exposing martel um after the tasha k interview so um it goes on to say their custody arrangement is two weeks on two weeks off now correct me if i'm wrong it's one week on one week off right but that's what i thought um, meaning each uh, parent has the children for two weeks of the whole month. And Martel has shown in the series that he'll do anything to disrupt Melody's time with their children while she plans scheduled activities around there. A lot of time with their kids because Martel cannot control her anymore. He uses the children as bait. And because she refuses to play along, he's learned to get the sexist and misogynistic Alabama court system on his side. So I just want to pause there. I am so glad that she's calling out about the Alabama court system because they forced Melody to give Martel his num her number. I mean, yeah, to give Martel her number. They like force her to have communication. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's co-parenting apps where they don't have to directly communicate, right? All right, so we don't want to get too into that, but let me read some of these comments and then we'll let you guys out of here. Um, I hope she gets full custody of her kids. I do too, for sure. Hey, everyone that said hi. I appreciate everyone in the chat. Um, praying that Melody gets full custody of her children. All this back and forth is not healthy for Melody or the kids, for real. Man, I just know she's stressed. Well, she's probably not stressed, but it's a stressful situation, you know. Um, it might be like a new normal to her, unfortunately. Sending prayers to Mel and her kids. Uh, hey everyone, good afternoon and community Empress Radium community. I hope everyone's doing well. My prayers are that God gives Melody the desires of her heart and that He continues to protect her um, and her children. He's horrible. Um, when is the RP court? I don't know when that is, but we'll definitely keep you guys um notified. Uh, well, let's pray she gets full custody of her children first. Prayers for Melody to be victorious in court, peace and protection yeah. for Melody and the four peace nuggets. Yeah. This is the second time he has been ordered to take a psychological evaluation. I'm pretty sure he keeps failing, you know. He fails the psych evaluation like he fails the builder's test, you know. Prayer for Mel. Favor awaits Mel in court today. Maybe this is why him and Bedbug have been super quiet lately, right? Um, Melly's children is in the company of Martel Holt and Arion Curry. Oh, that is not a good thing. Hey. Arion Curry is jealous of those kids. Um, come on, Alabama court. Do your thing. Uh, praying, someone said. It's okay. Alabama um, court, we are watching you. Marta Holt isn't responsible. Give him supervised visitations, please. Someone said this is terrible. He must be stopped. Um, I agree with you. He said the part of letting them be on the show if he could use corporal punishment in that interview with Tasha K. He's terrible. Yeah. And then on Tasha K, I mean, think I'm glad you said that. On Tasha K, he was saying that the reason yeah. Melody had him back yeah. in court was just because he, uh, she wanted the kids back on the yeah. show. When we see that it's all this stuff that's going on behind the scenes, like it's not just because she wants the kids back on the show, you know. Um, hope and pray Melody gets full custody. The Eminem kids don't need to be around Martel and that lunatic baby or, oh, the lunatic baby mama Kosla. Wow. Um, I pray that Marte that Marty the Bum loses all rights of the Fab Four. The Fab Four is so cute. <laughs> hey, Tay. <laughs> She's so funny. Like, when Tay talks, literally be having me cracking up, especially when she bursts into song on her videos. I just be, like, cracking up. And then the fact that, you know, the, <laughs> the fact that Drop the Mic and Brown Skin Girl will be, like, all, like, just, like, not wanting to hear her singing is so funny to me. <laughs> I be literally cracking up. Anyways, prayer prayers up for Mel's victory. What happened to the arbitration sessions? Uh, apparently, it's going back into uh, court. So, uh, Martel just jealous of his kids. Martel doesn't want kids on TV or social media because that would generate income that they would not have access to. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, God bless Melody and the children. Maintaining means you've had a good one before, right? Maintaining the co-parent relationship, right? Um, is this just a follow-up to his mental health assessment? No, I'm pretty sure 
it's like a amendment to the custody case, right? I'm not sure. You guys know in the chat. Um, how is Martel a good father? He has no place to live or keep the kids. LMAO, I was just playing. No, I know you were just playing. You'd be cracking me up. But I do post a lot. I notice. <laughs> um, hey, uh, keep posting Empress Radios on the way to 30K subs. Yes, I am. So make sure you guys subscribe if you're not subscribed and share the video. <laughs> um, he is still trying so hard to regain and remain the control of the family he lost. Mm -hmm. And he wouldn't have lost it if he could have, like, you know, kept his peen in the household, right? Um, I agree the children shouldn't be on TV if that's what... If that's what he wants, look what just happened to the people from the Sister Wife show. No me, no social media, aka TV either, right? And we want pictures of the Honorable Emperor Junior. Yeah. Emperor Junior is so cute. Um, he's cute and he has a lot to say. I'm here for Empress. If you guys uh, follow me on Instagram, I'm always posting pictures over there yeah. of the baby. And then um, I have a YouTube channel, a, a backup YouTube channel called The Cutest Co-Host. So check that out too. We always post little videos and stuff. Uh, Martel has his own interest at heart. He cannot property, properly aid in his children's well-being when he is a narcissist and a very yeah. self-centered person. He doesn't even have food to feed the children yet, for real. Yeah. He was so mad when Melody said that on the finale. Um, this season should be pretty good. I know you guys aren't looking forward to it, but I'm kind of looking forward to it because we have a lot of stuff to get into. Like I feel like it's going to be pretty good. Um, anyways, all those who are supporting Martel in his horrible treatment against Mel and her children, your hands are not clean and will reap what you sown period. The children's safety is more important than the TV and social media. Um, you're not the head anymore, Martel. You're the tail, right? I think that his attorney has a conflict in the case and the case is continued until June. Oh, Martel is so annoying. So you guys see this comment? Martel keeps doing that. He keeps pushing the case back, like finding reasons to push it back. Like I know Melody's probably mad. Like I just wanted to get this over with. That's crazy if that's true. Till June? Anyways, I just, I'm ready for it to be over and it's not even my baby, you know, my kids, you know. Melody moved out with a two-month baby. I know I've been there. I moved out six months pregnant, so I, I get it for sure. Uh, Sugar Mama couldn't advertise her own business. The girl couldn't be the face of their business. She, Mel, probably had a product for Taint. Right. You can't even put out products for your kids. Well, you could, but because of that, you know. I agree the children's safety is um, safety from their father. Yeah. However, Martel continues to allow his other children's mother to post his son on lives and on social media. Melody should be able to do the same, right? Um, I'm waiting for Mel's book to get off, to get all the facts of her abuse. Yeah, that yeah. book would be crazy. Um, yeah, one week on, one week off. Because I'm sure Melody has a lot of stuff that she's never even told us, you know? <laughs> Do you guys see this comment? <laughs> Puff Daddy, my next party is Saturday at 8. Who coming? You guys are so silly. Um, there is talking parents for parents to communicate on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Um, not on his side, but he does need her number one for the kids' sake. Yeah. But yeah, I am um, thankfully me and um, my child's father are on talking terms right now. So fingers crossed that we won't have to have any of those serious problems. Like we're trying to work things out and co-parent for the baby, you know, so. Fingers crossed that it won't get that bad because I do not feel like being in court or anything like that. So that's just like a little snippet into my um, my business. <laughs> um, I feel bad for Mel. This has to be exhausting. I know she's ready to be done, done with Martel. The fact that it keeps getting pushed back and now it's being pushed till June, Martel is something else. I think he does that on purpose to like just like mess with Melody's mental, you know, like, aha, you think it's today? Nope. Continue till June. You know, that's the type of person he is. This is terrible and sad. God bless the children. The prayers up for Mel and the children. Martel gets sociopath bias and AC is scum. Man, the scum of the earth. Um, hotel never honor the court orders, period. <laughs> Puff Daddy, this is not the platform for in for ignorance. <laughs> for real. Like, what are you doing here? Um, no visitation, but full custody to Mel. Martel has abused all of his children. I'm going to have to come over here and say... <laughs> Tay, you're so funny. Yeah, we're gonna have to have like like a, a Tay concert, you know, on my channel, and I'm just gonna sponsor her concert. <laughs> that would be so funny. Um, I pray that Mel gets full custody of the children and that Martel leaves Mel alone. Yeah, we all pray for that. Prayers for Mel and the four golden nuggets. Oh. Prayers for Mel and children. Martel gives narc sociopath vibes or psychopath vibes. Um, yeah, he does. Uh. Thy will be done in Jesus' uh. name. Amen. Amen. Um, I hope Mel brings up everything, including coleslaw. Man, for real. 
uh, praying for the four piece uh, to be with Melody full time. Baby Empress Jr. doesn't like Martel either. No, he does not. <laughs> um, he's like, Martel has bad vibes. You know, my, my baby probably would cry if he was close to Martel. You know how people are like that. But I don't know. My baby's kind of a betrayer because we had, I saw an aunt that I don't like and he was just smiling at her and stuff. I was like, why are you smiling at her? I don't like her. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. He's just, he's so sweet. Anyways, um, <laughs> his broke butt probably ain't got no attorney. Yeah, he keeps getting stuff pushed back. I can't stand him. Um, Tay, you have the rest of your voice for the next concert day. <laughs> Tay plus. Oh, you guys are so funny. Sister wise, children are not the same. Mel only shows positive things on the show when it comes to her children. And then I just thought about Ariane Curry being around the kids and stuff. Remember the other day when she was trying to shade the kids saying like, oh, hashtag not funny looking, hashtag good mix. Mm -hmm. She's a shame. And then I heard that she was mad that she, her kid didn't have red bottoms. She's just going to forever be hating, you know? It seems as though Mel had has had the kids for the last three weeks. I wonder why. Hmm. Someone said that too, that they noticed that Melody's been posting that she had the kids and like she's still been posting about it. Like, where is Martel? You know, Martel does not care about the kids' safety. He posted Mel's real address. So how is he concerned? That's very true. I can't believe he did that. I was so disgusted. As a mother, that has to be difficult, Melly Mel, because as a mother, you don't ever expect not to see your children around you every day. Having to share custody with a monster is difficult for a mom. Man, man, you ain't never lied about that because my baby is always with me. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on one second. My food's here. Hey, Dad. I ordered some fish tacos. <laughs> Anyways, uh, does he ever even have a lawyer? Probably not. Martel will use the court system to the max. <laughs> um, hey, Uppity. Shout out to okay. Uppity Unicorn. Man, she was in my comments when um when I first reported on the custody case. Remember how Martel put out those um those leaked documents or whatever? And they were like all on his, like supposedly on his side. Uppity got me together. She's like, you need to apologize to Melody. <laughs> I was pregnant, so I wasn't trying to hear it. But Melody, I apologize. If I ever did anything to offend you or if my content has offended you, I apologize. And I apologize to Uppity for blocking her. She was just like being on, on Melody's side. So I wanted to say that. Like all the content creators that I ever got into it with. I just, I don't want no beef with nobody, you know? So anyways, um, I pray that he gets committed. This is the only access he has to Mel. So he's going to drag this out for vengeance. I know Mel wants to vomit when she thinks, oh, I would. <laughs> I would definitely want to vomit when thinking about him. Um, he wants, he was warming that auntie up so he can keep an eye on him. Uh, praying that Melody gets full custody of the kids and Martel gets only supervised visits for real. Congrats on 30K subs, Mama Empress. Thank you. I'm not there yet, but almost. I think I'm like 500 away. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys subscribe. <laughs> so that's why Juan is the most disrespectful man in reality TV. Right. Carlos King talking about Juan is the most um, the most disrespectful man on reality TV like Martel isn't here. Come on. Uh, he knows he can't take care of those babies on his own. I am sure she will let him see the children if it comes correctly, in my opinion. Yeah. And it seemed like Melody never wanted to keep the kids from him. It's just he's erratic. You know, I wouldn't want my kid when, when Martel's erratic, you know, over there putting hands on kids, you know. Prayers up for Mel's victory today. Well, I heard from somebody in the comments that said Martel uh, made the case continue till June on purpose today. Well, I don't know if it's on purpose, but it seems like on purpose. Baby, did you pee? Anyway, why is Carlos covering Tasha K tapes on the show? Mel loves her kids more than Martel. Um, Carlos is helping Martel. Martel don't want those kids. He just wants the court to give Mel the kids so he don't look like he gave them up. Mm-hmm. Hopefully they'll lock his ass up and they, they lose the key. Why is Carlos covering? Oh, I read that. Prayers, Melody gets full custody, which she will. Uh, God got her. God had the first and last word. Amen. Okay. Amen. Um, when Mel said that she wished she had not had her kids with the queen was priceless, let you know how she feels about him for real. Alabama court, we are watching you. Alabama court, we are tired. Melody Rogers needs full custody of her children with Martel Hope yeah. supervised visitations for real. Um, hey, yeah, he needs like the visitations where the person is there, like sitting there in the room. <laughs> like, yeah, don't leave. <laughs> uh, today is the anniversary of her leaving his dusty ass for real. I saw that she posted about it, but yeah, I'm glad for her. But yeah, so anyways, that is the last of the comments. Um, I wasn't planning on being here that long, but 
Um, I pray Mel can get some type of restraining order against you know who that is the least the court should grant until this matter is resolved for real for real. All right, you guys. So um, I'm about to head out. So what do you guys think about this? Uh, drop your comments below and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from Empress Radio. Okay, bye. I don't necessarily want to leave the <laughs> the view count at six six six. So somebody either leave or join. <laughs> I'm like bad luck, bad luck. Do you guys see that the view count right now? Okay, 658. All right, bye. <laughs> bye, you guys.